Recent success in the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest is continuing to pay dividends for Gearing High School. KNEB.TV News starts right now. Hello, I'm Ryan Murphy. This is KNEB.TV News, powered by Platte Valley Companies. Thanks for joining me. In our top story, three-time state winners, two trips to the national finals, and one national championship has established Gearing High School as a powerhouse in the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest. Last week, Gehring teacher Justin Rymuth and former student Eric Crane flew out to the nation's capital for the 10th year kickoff celebration. Rymuth says that GHS's continued prowess and innovation has caught the eye of Samsung, and they'll be put in the spotlight in October. We're going to be highlighted through newscast, and they'll be having uh, executives and things from Samsung. Congress people will be coming here in the next month and highlighting our school because actually um, through this program and all the projects we've done were the winningest school in the country. Over the last three years, Gehring's winning projects included building a drone designed to provide targeted aerosol applications of agricultural pesticides, creating a microplastics filter for washing machines, and inventing an eye-controlled wheelchair to assist in the mobility of quadriplegics to navigate their environment. Uh, it's, it's been amazing and it's definitely put Gearing on the map, I think, where most people, even if they're from the remote area, they just call us Scott's Bluff if they you know, don't live here. So I think it's really put gearing on the map and just shown that you know greatness can, I think, happen anywhere. And during that three-year time frame, Gearing has received upwards of half a million dollars in new technology, which has allowed a one-to-one -one ratio for Chromebooks, top-of-the-line one-terabyte computers, and 4K crystal screen televisions. Ryan Muth says that having the best technology and continued success in this contest has helped inspire students to pursue careers in the STEM field. Uh, Eric Crane, I would say, he, uh, you know, when I first met him in junior high, which a lot of kids, they don't know what they want to do, but now he is uh, pursuing engineering. Um, I've had multitudes of kids from last year's project move into engineering. Uh, quite a few of them went to the South Dakota School of Mines. And from all those winnings also, we've now you know, through Gearing and the Chancellor at UNL, we also offer a scholarship in STEM to UNL. Ryan Muth has passed the reins to Brett Moser to lead the Solve for Tomorrow competition, as Ryan Muth has become an advisor for Samsung, which says that Samsung is continuing to look for more innovative entries from every school district in the country. I mean, I can't really elaborate, I guess, on the rules and what they're exactly looking for, but I do, I can say that they're really wanting just more and more schools to give that kind of multifaceted approach to classes where, you know, they're implementing not just you go to math and then you go to science and then you, they want it all to work together to give them a more real world approach and make them more um, able to find jobs in the future. This year's Solve for Tomorrow competition will increase the number of national finalists to 20 schools and the prize pool has grown to $3 million in prizes.